The Conspiracy. Mission 1. The Escape. Whilst being delivered via transport to your intended prison, a storm bellows around you. Suddenly, a blinding flash. The transport loses power. Your restraints give. Seize the moment. It's now or never. Okay, so this is mission, uh, the setup for mission one of the conspiracy campaign. The board is uh, just very simple because it's, the match is not actually going in here as such. It's actually happening entirely in the Valkyrie's hold. So if you'll notice, I've actually got a little set set up here, sort of. Okay, here's the, here are the rules. Because it... The, each side is going to count immediately in hand-to-hand -hand combat, so this is basically just going to be one uh, match consisting of close combat phases. However, in the movement phase, the Valkyrie will move 18 inches closer to the opposite board edge. If the Valkyrie, or the transport, transport, sorry, you know, because anybody, any army can do it, is uh, can do in these campaigns. If the transport gets from one side of the board to the other, then the cap, the uh, cap, the captors, the guards, sorry, uh, win. However, if the unit is able to overpower the guards or guard, then they win. Okay, so <clears throat> now. How many guards are there? Now, to make this fair, <coughs> the, uh, the unit itself has been stripped of its weapons and armour, etc. So these are bog standard infantry. Okay? So that would take the unit up to 70 points, I believe. That means that 70 points is also being used against them. So I've got a priest here who's, pretend who's acting as the bodyguard, so he gets some backup. Where can I get... Let's have you as a second one. <clears throat> Here we go. Let's have you as a second priest. Okay, so that's two priests versus ten-man veteran squad. Okay? So, we're going to roll to see who goes first. So, the guards, uh, i.e. the Valkyrie. Two. And what about the actual captives themselves? So this, this is really just see who turns it's two again. We roll five. Okay, so it's turn one to the actual guards. So that means the that means that for this turn one, the transport stays exactly where it is. Turn one. Okay, so let's see if we can overpower the guards. So uh, let's have they both attack at the same time. So all the, the usual campaign rules still in effect. So. No respawns IRL, so if anybody dies here, then they are dead for the rest of the campaign. But let's just see how this goes. So, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Attacks for the guardsman, plus two for the sergeant. No plus one for close combat weapons from the sergeant, because technically he isn't armed. And the priests go at the same time, so here goes. Fours for the veterans. One, two, three, four, five. That's five hits. Fours to wound. One, two, three wound. And a four up save. Okay, the priests. <laughs> that was. Well, that was easy. Okay, so the priests are actually KO'd already. Wow, first round knockout. They probably should have upped the guards a bit. Oh, well, never mind. But the priests do attack back themselves, so that's two attacks normally for the shotgun wielding priest. And let's have two, at two attacks normally plus one for the two weapons from the other guy. They attack at the same time, so that will be fours. One, two, three, and fours again. Two wounds, five up save. Is that their standard? We've lost one. So unfortunately, during the escape, one of the guards just get uh, one of the uh, prisoners just gets shotgunned. So sorry, lads. Who's it going to be? I'm take you off, just regular, regular guy. Okay. Quick, simple, easy mission. So bearing in mind, you could do this for say that's the end of mission one, by the way. So yeah, this could be you could do this with Ogrens versus guard, or even vice versa. 
if you wanted this, my ca these campaigns are for any army anyway, so you could have uh, Tau escaping from Dark Eldar, you can have, etc, etc, etc. Okay? So, yeah, that's the end of Mission 1, and stay tuned for Mission 2, that was bloody quick. Okay, so seeing as that was over really damn quick, I figured that I'd do a do-over uh, example. This does not affect how the actual campaign that I'm doing actually progressed, this is just an example for you guys to try at home. So, I've swapped the two priests over for a Terminator for my Space Marine army. So, we're also going to class them as the Space Marines this time is going first, so as a rough guess, let's move turn one for them. So, the transport moves over to here, as a rough guess, there we go. So, as a rough guess, they have one, two, three goes left. Okay, the Terminator swings with his sword. Oops. Five and a six, that's two hits. Threes. He's one kill. Okay, so one of the, the units is killed off. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven for the veterans. Fours. Oh, sorry, no, I hit that one by mistake. There we go. That's one, two, three, four, seven, uh, that's pretty good. Seven fives, two wounds, and a two up save. Oops. <laughs> two ones. Okay then. So, um, yeah, my veterans actually do it again. So, <laughs> wow, the reserve company is badass. Uh, so, yeah, that's it. That was an extended example. <laughs> Okay, uh, thank you, goodbye. <laughs>